All right. Some of our hymns tonight will be um, probably unfamiliar to you, but they fit the theme so beautifully, and um, they are either historic Lutheran texts that I think are, are worthy, or tunes that I think are worthy, and it's in this case, it's definitely the tune. Um, Eternal Spirit of the Living Christ was written by Frank von Christiersen and first published in 1974. Christiersen was born in Finland in 1900 and moved with his family to the United States. A Presbyterian pastor in California, his hymns have been published by the Hymn Society of which he was made a fellow in 1982. He died in 1996. <clears throat> As for the tune, it's a French diocesan tune from the Paris Processional of 1697 first used for the Feast of Corpus Christi, Adoro Te Suplex, a variation of Adoro Te Devote, a, a Eucharistic hymn. So it's a very um, historical uh, chant tune. Eternal Spirit of the Living Christ. <clears throat> Next, we have Lord Jesus Christ, Be Present Now. This anonymous 17th century hymn text was written to be sung before the sermon. And in 1678, all churches in Saxony were instructed to sing it on Sundays and festivals. The translation is a modification of that of Catherine Winkworth. She was the premier 19th century English translator of German chorales. Born in 1827, she was educated privately while living with her father and sister in Manchester, England. In 1863, she produced the Chor Chorale Book for England, in which she fitted her translations to the German tunes. She was an early champion of women's rights and the education of women. The tunes composer is unknown. It first appeared with a different text in 1628. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Jesus Christ. 
Next, we have a familiar hymn, Open Now Thy Gates of Beauty. Benjamin Schmolk wrote this hymn in German. Born in 1672 in Silesia, he was son of a pastor who let him preach when he was 16. Ordained in 1701, he served in a region which had been declared Catholic, where the Lutherans were permitted a rough-hewn meeting house outside the city walls to serve 36 surrounding villages. The most popular hymn writer of his time, he wrote over 900 hymns. The text is another translation by Catherine Winkworth. The tune comes from Joachim Neander, born into a Jew Jewish family in Bremen, Germany in 1650. He became a Christian as a youth. He became headmaster of the German Reformed Latin Grammar School at Dusseldorf. He died of tuberculosis in 1680, having written about 60 hymns. He has been called the Paul Gerhardt of the German Reformed Church. His long walks in the Valley of Dussel near Metman prompted the renaming of the valley for him. Neanderthal, Neander Valley, is where Neanderthal man was first discovered two centuries later. Next, we have Lord of Light. 
Welsh author Howell Elvett Lewis wrote this text in 1916. Born in 1860, he was a Congregational Minister, President of the National Free Church Council, Chairman of the Congregational Union of England and Wales, and one of the earliest members of the Hymn Society of Great Britain and Ireland. He wrote both hymns and devotional works. The tune which we also sing to the text, God is Here and Lord You Give the Great Commission, was composed by Cyril V. Taylor in 1941. He was an Anglican vicar and choir director who also worked with the BBC, edited many hymnals, and was chair of the Hymn Society of Great Britain and Ireland. He died in 1991. <clears throat> Thank you. 
And now another old favorite, what a friend we have in Jesus. Joseph Scriven wrote this text in 1855. Born in Ireland in 1819, poor health prevented him from a military career. After his fiance drowned the day before their wedding, he moved to Canada where he worked as a teacher. A second fiance, a relative of the family he was currently tutoring, also died suddenly before their marriage. A member of the Plymouth Brethren, he sought to carry out literally what Jesus said in the Sermon on the Mount by giving away all he possessed and doing menial work for the handicapped and the poor. He suffered from depression and his drowning death in 1886 may have been a suicide. Charles C. Converse composed the tune in 1868. Born in Massachusetts in 1832, he was a lawyer and composer, writing hymn tunes, string quartets, overtures, oratorios, and two symphonies. Along with William B. Bradbury, he edited Sunday School songbooks and published a host of hymn collections. Now we venture again into slightly unfamiliar territory, but this is an historic Lutheran text. It began as an anonymous one-verse Lysa, a middle-aged German folk 
hymn that concludes with Kyrie eleison. Martin Luther thought it was a worthy hymn and added three stanzas, and all four were published in 1524. Since 1889, English translations and North American hymnals have been composites. The anonymous tune is probably as old as the 13th century first stanza. Our next hymn is Lord, Teach Us How to Pray Aright. James Montgomery wrote this hymn in 1818 for nonconformist schools in Sheffield, England. He was a 17th and 18th century Moravian poet, abolitionist, and newspaper editor. The Welsh tune is anonymous from the 17th century.
And now we jump all the way up to the 20, uh, 21st and 20th century. Um, although he is still alive, Lord, listen to your children praying is by an amazing man named Ken Medema. He wrote the song in New Jersey in 1970 while working with a youth group. He relates, quote, we started talking about a young man who was in the hospital and who really needed our prayers. In the middle of our prayer time, the idea for this little chorus came to me. So it was a song born out of our concern and prayer for a friend, end quote. Blind from birth in Grand Rapids, Michigan in 1943, he became a music therapist and began a concert career in 1973. He has toured throughout the U U.S. and Canada, showcasing his amazing talent and improvising ability, and started his own recording, publishing, and booking company in 1985. George and I were um, blessed to be able to perform a few times a piece that he wrote that was just stunning. Um, and now the title completely escapes me, but it was... Um, Moses. Thank you. Thank you. Moses. Yes. Um, brilliant piece and, and an amazing performer to think that he's uh, blind from birth. It's just, just unbelievable. Anyway, here is his chorus. We'll sing it a few times. Lord, listen to your children praying. And we have a repeat from last week, day by day, uh, with the third verse that, again, uh, speaks to our theme, which is all about prayer.
And finally tonight, a new hymn in our new supplement, All Creation Sings, O God, You Search Me. Uh, this is uh, based on the psalm for Sunday. The text and tune were written by Bernadette Farrell in 1992. She is a contemporary British composer, part of the Catholic Church's liturgical renewal since the Second Vatican Council in the 1960s. <laughs> 